Now what's going on guys, t Master here and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 3 Part 16, fellas. In the previous episode we obviously made our way to the Kingdom of Corona, we're here in this luscious green fern-filled forest. But of course there is a darkness walking about, none other than Mali himself, who is uh, up to some no good, obviously throwing a bit of dark influence towards Mother Gothel. So what we're doing as of right now, we're actually making our way to Corona itself. Uh, we've got to basically meet up with Flynn and Rapunzel because we, we split up. So let's make our way through the forest and see uh, we'll see if we can find our friends because th that's kind of important at this point. All right, we got some monkeys again. So cool to see these these cheeky sons of guns again. Honestly, though, like fighting these things really makes me want to see Tarzan again at some point in Kingdom Hearts. Even though Deep Jungle is like. Uh, Fucking deep jungle. The labyrinth would be easier to navigate than that godforsaken world, dude. Honestly. The unfortunate thing though is Disney actually ended up losing the rights to Tarzan in the early 2000s. So uh, I believe it was shortly after the release of Kingdom Hearts 1, they ended up losing the rights, which means that uh, we didn't obviously get to see deep jungle in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Have you guys have ever actually wanted that? Seeing as like Chain of Memories is obviously based around like all of the original worlds you go to in Kingdom Hearts 1. You guys are wondering like why Tarzan wasn't in Chain of Memories? That is the exact reason right there. I mean, it's kind of sad, it's kind of not, the world wasn't that great. But still, fighting these gap dang monkeys brings back some, some really fond and aggravating memories. However, though, pushing forward, we're making our way deeper and- oh, in, okay, alright, no worries, dude. What do we got? Thyme? Time, 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 time. Also, the other funny thing is, like, as I've been trying to pronounce the names of, of some of these, like, ingredients, seeing as, like, a lot of them, you know, ingredients have, like, weird French names, or, like, sort of just strange names in general. Thank you guys so much for uh, helping me out with the uh, pronunciation of a lot of these buzzy words. I do appreciate that. <laughs> you guys know me. I mean, when it comes to pronunciation of anything, like, foreign, foreign words, it's, it's, not your boy's shining moment. We're, we're not too good at that whole thing. Anyway, cutscene is about to come about. <sighs> Looking dark and gloomy. I What's where about to go went. down? You and me both. That's Don't what we're trying worry. to figure out. They couldn't have gotten too far. You just had to stop and talk. Hey, blame the has been, not me. Blame the has been. I think you mean Marluxia. <laughs> I bet that's the name the has been would prefer. <sighs> Hello? Rapunzel? Flynn? Excuse me, good travelers. Do you know Rapunzel? Uh, uh, yeah. Sort of. Well, you know, not enough for like ten minutes, but... My sort apologies. Of. I'm Rapunzel's mother. The poor child left home without a word, and I've just been worried sick. Please tell me, where is my dear, sweet girl? We'd tell you, but we lost her. By accident. We could look together. Lost her? You're of no use to me. Damn, okay, all right. Okay. That just went I'll from like... I'll to myself. Damn, okay, her, her attitude went from like a solid golden 115 to like a low 25. What if Marisha was onto something back there? Don't trust organization, Captain! What? No, of course not. But what if? There's always that what if, especially when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, goddamn. Why is Rapunzel in danger? And what darkness is after her? Well, guys, the first step is to find her. All right, let's do it. Let's figure it out. Oh, I gave the seamless try. I, just, I, I gotta stop nerding. This is just too much. Every single time I do an episode, we're always freaking out. Anyway, okay, so we've made our way to what looks like... Uh, oh, is this the swamp area of the world? So we got to see this sort of briefly, like, in a couple of the trailers and stuff, but, um, nice. This is looking... Oh, oh, okay. More of these flowery nobody things. Yeah, so what I'm gathering is they have, yeah, when they're doing the teleporting thing in the bob, uh, they've got, like, a brief period of invincibility, which is sort of annoying. Um, I was sort of thinking that maybe I might be immune to physical effects, but no, it, it's, uh, it's only when they're teleporting where they become... 
Invincible. Damn, that is a lot of damage, though. Holy sh- Okay, what is the step up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boys, chill. You guys went flicking out this much damage in the last episode. What's this? Luffy, I'm gonna need that bombard right here right now. We got a lot of flunkies. Look at all these noodle legs. Oh my god, it's ugh, the way they move. Boom. All right, beautiful. Donald's level 18. Uh, can you stop fishing around, dude? I'd appreciate that. Moving around like a get dang salmon. I feel like I'm gonna get myself like extremely lost in this place. This, what? What do you see? What are you looking at, Goof? Tell me, show me. Really? Did you just scout a chest out for me, dude? Okay, appreciate it. It's good to know I'm not the only one actually, you know, looking and scouting out for chests nowadays. It's good to know. And it's also good that we just got the map. I was just literally talking about getting lost and we've been handed a map. More scary darkness thingies. All right, let's do it. Let's tango, let's foxtrot. Also, magic is just like, oh man. I mean, we, we, we've probably talked about this, but like magic again, it's just, in Cage 3, I think this is definitely one of the best things. Uh, that combo cancelling and uh, a few things that I've kind of got s swirling around in my mind as of right now, just from obviously what I've experienced. But like the magic system that 0.2 introduced, man, uh, it's good, it's flashy, it's awesome, but damn is it fucking overpowered, man. One thing that I have been thinking recently is it's interesting that uh, Grand Magic, there's no MP. Uh, consuming when it comes to that, so obviously MP does not get touched when you're using Grand Magic, because obviously it's a situation command. Now look, I'm still early game, so I, I don't want to throw too many judgments and critiques at the game just yet, but one thing that I definitely have noticed is, you know, in amongst like all of the attraction flow rides, uh, fucking speak of the devil. SPEAK OF THE DEVIL! And all you want to do is open a chest or grab an ingredient, but instead, you activate a special fucking ability. Oh, this is gonna happen a lot. I can see it now. This is gonna happen a lot. All right, King Oyster Mushroom. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, this time it was only second form, but still, this is gonna happen a shitload. I can already see it now. Pick up that black trumpet. Uh, and also reminding me too, I should probably focus on food, but at this point, we haven't really been in too many kafunkles just yet. Where I'm feeling like we absolutely need, you know, like a fucking five course meal before we go head first into danger. It'll probably get to that point, I'm, I'm hoping so anyway, otherwise, like, what is the point in the whole food buff system? One thing I am noticing, though, is, uh, these nobodies in this swamp, they're, uh, they're dishing out some impressive damage. I, I, I gotta say, like, our journey through Corona so far hasn't been, like, too bad, too stressful, but damn, these nobodies are, like, dealing the backhand, dude. They're dealing the backhand. Okay, we good guys? Now surely there's gonna be some secrets or some like hidden things in, in this swamp. This is looking like a big area. This time seems to be pointing to the way to the castle. So Corona is that way. We, <laughs> we've been heading the wrong way. Yeah, nothing unusual about that. Yep, I said I was gonna get lost in this damn swamp and even with the map, we are still lost. We're back where we came from. Oh, okay. Hidden little trapdoor thing. Free money? I'ma take that. Thank you. Come here, you fish sandwich. Okay, this has got to lead to somewhere interesting. Oh. Oh! Okay, this is the... I'm guessing the swimming segment we uh, we saw during one of those tangled trailers. Uh, eel? Alright, nice. Nice. What do we got here? More eel? Did we just pick up like three eels in one go? Shadow anklet. Alright, nice. Ooh, another eel. It's a nice feeling though, just actually getting genuinely lost in... A Kingdom Hearts world like thinking back to it the only two worlds that I can really only ever remember myself like actually getting lost in uh, Was both Wonderlands and of course Deep Jungle from Kingdom Hearts 1 and, I mean that's not because those worlds are like big or anything or, like expansive and I, I Don't really want to say that the worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3 are super expansive again Haven't seen it all we're only up to Corona. These are still areas obviously they're not massive open worlds but Looking back to like deep jungle Wonderland the only reason why people were getting confused as, as to where to go In those worlds was because it was just literally fucking confusing knowing where to go However, though I have noticed that so far in Kingdom Hearts 3 like you do have those slight moments of like oh shit like these areas are so big where it's like I am actually getting lost here and there which is a cool kind of feeling when it comes to uh, exploring worlds in Kingdom Hearts. It kind of ups the whole exploration value of, uh, of the worlds, which I'm really appreciating so far. Okay, so I'm gathering we're heading back to where we came from, so let's go this way. This looks like the right way. Okay, we got a cave, we got some spooky trees, 
It actually looks like we're about to uh, go into a, yeah, okay, a cave. We're exiting the swamp, thank god. Okay, thank you. Uh, monk slapping that ass? All right. Let, let me do it. Let me slap that ass. We can use the magic carousel in the cave. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm gonna just finish this. I'm, I'm gonna just... I'm a j okay, that was a mess, good god. It's surprising that you can actually summon some of these attraction flow rides in such tight spaces. But I really do think that the train, for instance, is going to be like situational, meaning that it probably will only be exclusive to certain boss fights and stuff. But you know, does does kind of make sense, especially in like small little crevices like this. Can you imagine like Big Thunder Mountain rolling through here? I mean, I certainly could. It's a cool idea. Oh, but man, there would be glitches and bugs and messes for days. Now, also keep in mind, these uh, these monkeys throw acorns now. Um, I, I really don't know what they throw. Could be their own poop, for all I know. But yeah, they got this, like, new attack where they throw this, like, nut thing. And uh, we've really got to make sure we don't get hit by that, because I'm pretty sure it gives you a stun. Super annoying. Let's pop out some flow motion, because I feel like I don't use it enough. Which, you know, admittedly, it, it's not a bad thing. I'd be seriously worried if, like, 50% of Kingdom Hearts 3's combat was just you bouncing off walls, slamming into the fucking ground. Because obviously that was Dream Drop Distance, and there were a lot of complaints when it came to the flow motion, so... Again, although I know we've talked about this, I, I'm, I'm so happy they decided to sort of just tone it down for Kingdom Hearts 3. We didn't need it! Um, but it's kind of cool that it's still here, it makes sense for, like, you know, worlds being more expansive, greater sense of verticality. The whole flow motion thing definitely does come in handy. Sneaky chest. We'll take that. Damascus, nice. And this world is so beautiful though. Look at all the, the greenery. The bunnies again. Man, dude, it's top tier. Top tier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy boy, easy. Huh? Settle down. Whoa, whoa. That voice! It's Rapunzel! We found her. <laughs> are such a good boy! Yes, you are. <laughs> it's wagging its tail. <laughs> are you all tired from chasing this bad man all over the place? Excuse me? Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? Oh, come on! He's a bad horse! Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. Isn't that right, Maximus? What? You've got to be kidding me. Look, Today is Damn, this kind horse is of about the to absolutely my drop life. Flynn. <laughs> and the thing is, I need you not to get him arrested. Just for 24 hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it's also my birthday, just so you know. Come on, Maximus. It's a birthday. Can't let it down. Cough it up. Let's make this deal happen. Rapunzel! You're here, and you're okay. <laughs> yeah, you too. And look, I need a friend. Meet Ooh, Maximus. These different versions of these you older can Kingdom Hearts things, man. And where one goes, the other follows. This oh. is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. They've been helping me. All right, why can the dog and the duck talk, but not the fucking horse? Why not the horse? Uh, come on, the kingdom's not far. All right, for like a split second there, I thought we were like going to be able to actually mount Maximus. Like hell yeah, saw her riding through the woods on a damn horse. That I'm for. No, unfortunately not. That's that's not what's happening. All right. So we're at this nice little resting point right here. Now, um, one thing I do need to check is I actually want to see if there is uh, any new items in here that we can buy. Uh, I'm guessing that once we actually wrap up Corona and go to the next set of worlds, then we'll probably unlock like a whole new slate of uh, new items, equipment, accessories, and stuff to buy. Yeah, at this point, it's still looking like the same crap. To the whole gang's here, we got Maximus, Flynn, Rapunzel, Donald, Goofy, and of course, spiky-haired anime kid. We're on a roll, guys, so we're now heading to, obviously, Corona. <laughs> you and me both, Donald, honestly. Sitting up on that cliff, absorbing the sun rays, man. Seems nice, but of course, you know, we've got like 13 darknesses to take care of, so let's get back to that. Sneaky chest. 
Cannot forget about the sneaky chest. All right, either. Can never have too much either. Oh, dude. Okay, this is looking big. All right, work with Rapunzel and scale the cliffs. Okay, that is shiny. We're gonna have to do something with that. You can't tell me that there isn't anything suspicious about a rock that is sparkling. None of these other rocks are sparkling. You want me to do something with this, don't you, game? All right, maybe give it a... Oh, okay, Donald's just gonna give us the, the answer straight out like that. All right, thank you, Donald. Now, the trick is we've got to get high enough in order to perform a dive, but I think we will probably end up... Yeah, okay, we can't get that high. We'll probably end up, like, going up to those cliffs at some point, so I'm just gonna continue forward. Um, oh, yeah, we've Come definitely on, seen this before. Swing across the gap with Rapunzel's hair. Yeah, there's a lot of nooks and crannies, which means there's a lot of chests and secret stuff around here, I bet you. Whenever you see these, like, big, expansive map areas uh, on the map HUD, uh, you always know that there's gonna be yeah, a decent amount of hidden shit. So let's try not to miss anything. Uh, now, as I have explained to you guys, we're not going to try for like 100% getting, you know, obviously every single chest as I go through. I am at the same time also playing on my own save file, uh, which I had told you guys, except uh, the catch is I do not progress past where I'm up to, obviously, in my Let's Play. So in terms of like, you know, worrying about like absolutely all the chests and collectibles and all that stuff, we won't be so much doing that uh, on the Let's Play save file. Second form S. Let's pump it. Rapunzel is kicking ass with that tree spin attack. Dang, dude. She took out like four enemies within like two seconds. She's combat trained. She's She's been a girl that's literally spent her whole entire life inside a dang tower, man. Who taught you these skills? You must be reading some like crazy combat technique books up in that tower. Damn. <laughs> Fling that goodness. Let's noodle our way across. Safe, safe. I'm glad, you know, we didn't slip. Alright, is this high enough? That is the question. That is the- no, no, no. We don't want this to be like Mount Olympus all over again. Okay, alright, hold- oh, actually no, we can war on up that wall, so we're fine. Um, yes, okay. This is it. Is this high enough? We're gonna find out. No. It's not high enough. Alright, alright, children. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry it up. We don't need to do the slow, dramatic walk. Just whip the hair across the branch and let's swing. Let's swing. George of the Jungle style, baby. The problem with these worlds having verticality is uh, you can now fall off a lot of things, which means that you have to work your way back up things. Make sure you're not falling off cliffs, kids, because it, it's a real inconvenience. Where the shit am I? Alright, this is it. This should give us enough height to perform the episupic mega ultimate. I almost didn't know whereabouts I was meant to land. But anyway, we got a big fat chest right there. Let's do it. Uh, Arrow Cufflinks. Okay, it grants a slight boost to magic and maximum AP. I think this is like the third one of these we now have. And of course, it gives us uh, access to Erosa earlier, as well as an Arrow Boost. I honestly haven't really been even using or bothering about Arrow all too much. I think it's good for like separating sort of uh, congested groups of enemies, but really I haven't found it all too useful in comparison to, you know, like Fire, Thunder, or Blizzard. I honestly don't think we'll be using too much Arrow, to be fair. Alright, we can finally make our way into the cabin. <laughs> Enough falling off cliffs. Tangled twist. I don't think we actually used this too much so far. Nice, okay. Writing shard. Also, yes, yeah, synthesis. We should probably look at using all of this junk that we've collected uh, over the three worlds we've been to so far. So uh, we'll do a little bit of synthesis uh, when we find the next Moogle. Also, speaking of, like, Moogle, it just kind of got me thinking about the whole Final Fantasy character thing, but I'm starting to think at this point that they're just... That... I, I don't know, I... You know, we've still got a lot of the game to go, but I just, I do have a feeling that they just might not be Final Fantasy characters in the game. I, I'm honestly hoping that's not the case, but you know, obviously, aside from the Moogle, I don't know. I, I, I've got this weird feeling that maybe there's not going to be Final Fantasy characters in the game. Uh, I hope that's not going to be the case, though. Alright, let's take out a whole buttload of these suckers. Bombarder is absolutely beautiful. really like that team attack. Look all these monkeys just <laughs> sit on the wall. Like, what are you doing? You're not helping your teammates out. You're just sitting there scratching your ass. Opinions on proud mode so far as well. Uh, I'm not finding it too bad, although I was saying earlier before that those nobodies and stuff were dishing out some crazy damage. It kind of seems to be that the corona is sort of starting to step things up. 
uh, which I am happy about because like so far honestly I have found the game fairly what simple considering that this is uh, at this point basically you know the hardest difficulty for the game but yeah I've definitely felt a sort of ramp up uh, in Corona so far so um, yeah I'm, I'm sort of expecting things to hopefully get a little bit harder as we make our way through naturally right okay we were down here before this is where we attempted to do our first dive so let's make our way back back through the cabin because we can actually make our way up here what do we got? Okay. Sora, over here. Another one? Okay. Let's do it. Come on, Miss Tarzan. Let's get to swinging. Let's get to swinging. Hello? Wait. Okay. Alright, we just flung ourselves dirt first that was really confusing we were like in a swing and then all of a sudden Sora was like in a dive i'm like what is going on here oh oh i've seen this before this is this is mr horse this is bad mr horse though all right did the oh these monkeys are fucking taunting me man these monkeys are taunting me man i've been dealing with that booty slap taunt since 2002 it's starting to get old it's starting to get old. Noodles and pickles. I don't know. Don't ask. Please, don't ask. All right, you suckers are fried. Union Ragnarok. There it is. All right, let's take care of all these ads first. Let's get rid of the ads and then uh, focus on Big Boy over there. Actually, I think we have to take care of the ads because that thing is just standing still and I don't think we can attack it. Bring the wrath of the universe downwards onto our foes. Beautiful. That, too, is also really powerful. The whole team is also nearly level 20, which is a cool thing to see. Moving on up with those levels. Okay, so he's, he's, he's finally gonna show his face. There it is. Show me your best, Mr. Wheel horse chariot thing. I seriously don't know what this is. What is this? Who comes up with these designs? They need a raise. Okay, this man is doing some Tokyo drifting. <laughs> Settle down there, big boy. All right, Goofy, I'ma hold you to that. Goofy bomb bar. No, that's not a. Okay, I. I wanted to use the Goofy as the finisher, but that's. Oh, oh no, hold on. We're not. We're not done. All right, let's stock that for the meantime because I would say. Okay, all right. Okay. Mm. That Tokyo drift attack thing that he does, that that's some that's some damage. But no, Rapunzel just finished off the uh, the second wave. Nice. And now we've got the last one. Okay. Also, I just got like a dank heal from Donald, I'm pretty sure. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate that, man. Okay. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem too bad. We just gotta make sure we don't get hit by that drift attack, because that thing is scary, dude. Alright, we're finishing this. You're dead, Mr. Horse. And we got Super Jump, as well as our max MP increased Super Jump, though. What is... While well, in flow motion, uh, press circle to perform a super jump that lets you reach otherwise unreachable heights. Wait, hold on. Is is This is the flow motion wall kickoff. So it is in Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. Um, let's test this out. I'm very, very intrigued about this. Hold on. Whereabouts are we looking at? Okay, super jump. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, let's test this out. Okay, and we've still got the slam attack too, but from the looks of things, oh, it's it's also got the same, it's got the same sound effect. It's not a bad thing, it's just I've used that flow motion spam so much myself, I hate to admit it, and I've heard that sound effect so many times, like it's imprinted into my brain at this point. Uh, this is handy though, this means that we're going to be able to uh, reach some, ooh, speaking of which, reach some higher places and get these sneaky chests. Mage's airing. I know Donald's into that kind of swag. Gonna replace Donald's gold amulet for a mage's airing. Very nice. Also, abilities. We haven't really looked at abilities in a little while. Uh, do -do -do -do. Counter slash. Always good. Uh, even though you guys know me and Block and Right, we're not best friends. Uh, we've also got water boost, but not really using water too much. And auto finish. Now, at first, I was sort of against this, but because of the fact that like I found myself... Uh, pretty much like forgetting about the finishes, whether it be like an attraction flow ride, team attack, link, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I, from time to time I'll forget about the finishes. So having auto finish there is actually uh, kind of handy. I think we'll have that. All right, surely Corona should be on the horizon. Somewhere down here. Yeah. Am I looking forward to going to Corona though? Seeing all those cheerful townsfolk. Wait, come back. 
dog. <sighs> I must have startled them. All right, uh, should we go say hello to the birdies? I mean, the bunnies last time, they showed us the treasures, so uh, let's see what these birds can do for us. Oh? You scared them. Oh. Am I that hideous? All right, do, do we have to walk, like, really slow up to them? Or something? Not to, you know, put the living shits up them every the single time? That way, Sora. All right, I slow and steady. Quiet, so we don't frighten them. Slow and steady. This is some man vs. wild shit. So we've got to guide the birds. Got to guide the birds to Rapunzel. Ah. Easy. E -e -e -e. Oh, they're leaving. What's so bad about flying fast? So let's try it from uh, this this side. Seeing as Rapunzel's actually closer to this tree. All right, buddies. Let's do it. Don't fly away. Slow and steady. I'm going slow and steady. No sprinting, no sudden movements. Uh, that rock. Slowly, slowly. Yep, yep, you don't have to tell me twice. Well, well, you might, because we might actually accidentally end up sprinting here in a second, but uh, hopefully not. Okay, one more rock. That's all we gotta jump on. One more. There it is. Yes. Slowly. There it is. I've never seen a bird like you. Well, it's, it's probably because you've been inside your whole life, uh, my girl, but, y y Listen, you know, first time for everything. Us. Bliss. Make your way to the kingdom. Oh, no reward. Still, though, uh, cool to have those, like, little interesting segments that don't really have too much substance to them, yeah. but they're, like, little extra things. Cool. Very cool. Uh, the Wayward Cannery, a classic Kingdom game. Uh, you can play it on your gummy phone. Sweet! Another classic Kingdom video game to add to the collection. Sora is becoming a true gamer in this installment. I love it. Where are we going? Surely over this hill. No, we've got a lot of flowers, though. Whoa, dude, this is pretty. It's so pink! Yeah, I can see why Malusha decided to come to this world. It's very up his alley. Oh, I'ma take you up on that, goof. I'ma take you up on that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sliding on the- I- I probably should have taken a look around there because there's no doubt some chests. But anyway, we're sliding straight to the bottom. I took up that challenge. I ain't gonna be no rotten egg. I ain't gonna be no rotten egg. Who is, though? Rapunzel. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Alright, but there it is. Wow, the kingdom of Corona. Looking absolutely beautiful. Oh, alright, we got a cutscene. I just knew the outside world would be full of amazing things. And you, you helped me find them. Thank you. All right, obtained items, AP boost times, times three, damn, okay. Rapunzel's items have been returned to our stock. Love it. She's pumped. <laughs> she is pumped. Rapunzel sure looks happy. She does. Well, her dream's gonna come true. They're sending the lanterns up after dark. Cool. We don't want to miss that. All right, so here we are in the actual uh, kingdom itself. This is... Wow, dude, this is... Beautiful. Oh man, I just want to do so much exploring because no doubt there's going to be like lots of little alleyways and stuff, or at least I'm hoping. Um, we were talking about synthesizing before though, so let's quickly check this Moodle, go to the workshop, and uh, see what sort of junk we can create. Okay, collect this gold completely. All right, yeah, well, thank, thank you, game. Thank you for letting me know that. Uh, all right, anything we do need. AP boost? Why not? Always come in handy. Also, I think we'll make the soldiers airing for Goofy. And also at this point, both the shooting star as well as the starlight um, are our highest leveled Keyblades. So we can upgrade one at this point as we do need a Damascus, but we only have one Damascus. Seeing as I do use the star 
Starlight the most, though, we will upgrade that. I think that's probably, for the time being, going to be the Keyblade I'll focus on. Uh, we obviously do have Favorite Deputy as well, but we need some Fluorite. Might do a little bit of Fluorite farming uh, on the next Gummy Ship run, but for the time being, we'll be focusing on Starlight. Also, photo missions. This is another thing that I just have not really been paying attention to. We do have one right here. Uh, the Moogle wants a picture of Chief Puff, which I'm guessing is those big dandelion things. So yeah, let's uh, we'll we'll take a picture of that bad boy when we uh, when we come across another one of them. Anyway, let's go down this alleyway and oh, chest right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh, dude, again, though. I mean, we got a little bit of a taste of this in wow. Twilight Town with sure all the NPCs. But man, just seeing them, like, all like lively doing like their own thing. Around. We're just gonna, you know, smack up that guy's uh, vegetable stand, no worries. I'ma take anything I damn well please. I have to satisfy a world-class chef. I mean, he might be a rat, but he's got some high expectations, man. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I, I need your zucchini, though. I'm, I'm in desperate need of pumpkin, zucchini, tomatoes, hell, anything you have, chuck it my way. I'm honestly surprised though at this point, Donald and Goofy are not screaming down my neck that there is ingredients left, right, and center. But you know what, for a change, yeah, it's actually kind of nice that they're not screaming. Yeah, this is a fantastic place to find some ingredients. But of course, if it's not ingredients the yelling about, it's the lucky emblems. No, this I'm definitely happy about though, because uh, I... I'm probably always running past uh, those lucky emblems, and even still, Donald just mentioned one, and I, I still don't even know where it is. So, you know, having a general idea as to, you know, if there is a lucky emblem in the general vicinity, it, it's kind of helpful. Hey, John, spending uh, this fine Sunday with good old little Timmy over here? What are you guys staring at? Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Oh, you folks are looking very lively today. Samantha, Amanda, uh, Deborah. How you guys going? Talking about all the town gossip? I bet there's plenty of rumors to spread around there. Those kids are always climbing that silly lighthouse. Wonder what's so interesting about the beauty up there. Oh, okay. Jonathan, we'll uh we'll have to take a gandy for ourselves then. If all the kids go up there, then it must be all the hype. The top of the lighthouse. Expecting some dank loots. <laughs> That's uh, uh, okay. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll get there eventually. It's all about how we run up the wall. Oh, okay. No dank loot, but we Let's do have a lucky see. emblem. So we'll take a picture of that. Yeah. Also, I'm forgetting too, Donald screamed at me before uh, over the fact that there was a lucky emblem yeah. over here. So I should probably go back over here. Okay, so we're walking down these stairs and that's when he was yelling at me. Um, so it's, it's gotta be somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. The cracks of this? No, no. On the boardwalk? No, no. Oh, that is a fish. I'm gonna grab that. Cod. Nice. Oh, lucky emblem, lucky emblem, lucky emblem. Oh, 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 it's the barrels. It's the barrels. Let's is it the barrels? See. It's the barrels. Okay. There it is. Oh, and we got a Thundara trinket. Nice! However, dudes, with all that being said, that is going to conclude part 16 of the playthrough. In the next episode, we will no doubt be finishing up, uh, obviously, the Kingdom of Corona, and then, of course, making our way to the next set of worlds. Very excited to do so. Obviously, uh, a little bit more screen time with Molly, figuring out exactly what he's going to be doing with Mother Gothel and what the whole dynamic there exactly is. He was also saying a lot of, like, uh, weird cryptic shit before, so I, I kind of want to get to the bottom of that. Okay, guys, hopefully you dudes are having an absolutely fantastic day i'm cynical and until next time i'll catch you guys later peace hit them on the page you'll be coming through stains go there my mouth when you suckers be bluffing look crank gaming up your bitch though catch me in the back playing super nintendo